the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update. Everyone, today we are going to learn how to create a resume design in Microsoft Word. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start by creating a blank document. Next, let's go to design, sorry, layout and uh, update the margins to narrow. And now let's draw a text box on the document. Increase the font size and change the font weight to bold. Now let's change the fill to no fill and line to no line and let's add a subtext to the title. Let's select the subtext and uh, reduce its font size. Also let's remove the space between the paragraphs. Now let's go to insert and select a line shape and draw it below the added text update the properties of the line by changing the line color now let's uh, select the line shape again and uh, draw a vertical line and do the same changes to uh, the line color now let's Select the text box again and draw a text on the left hand side of the document and let's add some text inside it. Increase the font size and the font weight and also the font color to a dark gray. Now let's add some placeholder text. This text I have uh, copied uh, from the web but uh, here you will be adding the actual uh, data. Let's increase the font size a little and uh, adjust the size. Now let's move on to the next uh, section. Before that let's add a uh, horizontal line okay uh, also change the line color and now let's copy the about me content and uh, paste it below the second horizontal line now let's change the title to skills and let's add some dummy skills here Once uh, we are done adding the skills, let's uh, remove the uh, spacing uh, between the lines and also change the spacing to one point. And now let's add some more skills. Okay. Let's add the same spacing and uh, also increase the spacing between the uh, primary skills and the sub skills okay now let's go to the insert shape and select the rectangle and place it on the document change the fill to light gray And, uh, copy and paste and uh, also change the line color to no line and copy and paste 
the rectangle on top of the existing rectangle and change the fill to a uh, dark gray so now let's uh, copy the two rectangles and paste it for all the rest of the skills that we have also you can uh, update the uh, progress bar which we have created for each individual skills that we have i am speeding up the process here uh, just because uh, it is nothing but the copy paste that we are doing okay now that we are done uh, pasting the uh, shapes uh, let's move on to the next section so let's copy the um, horizontal line again and uh, paste it below the skills section and uh, let's add some contact details so let's copy the uh, text block and paste it and decrease its width and height before that let's uh, delete the content and add the uh, contact information so let's start by adding the address details select the text and uh, decrease its uh, size let's add some spacing between the text now let's uh, move the content which we added the previous sections uh, so that we have enough space for the last section that is the contact so let's move the sections above that let's uh, make some space for the contact section okay uh, so now that we are done moving the sections let's uh, add a picture uh, box uh, let's select a shape rectangle and uh, paste it on the uh, document and fill it with a picture okay. so let's select an icon here and also let's uh, remove the outline uh, or the line color for the uh, shape okay. now let's start adding the phone number from the next line and also add a space not just one space but uh, a couple of spaces so that uh, the icon is visible and also let's uh, remove the font weight okay. so let's uh, repeat the same process for uh, the other contact details like email id and the domain name Okay, so let's uh, move on to the next section that which is uh, the experience before that let's uh, change the uh, font uh, for the title and the sub 
text here i am using the font railway uh, uh, this is a free font which you can download from the internet okay so now that the changes are done let's uh, copy the uh, about me section text box and uh, paste it uh, next to uh, it okay. let's uh, update the contents that are there uh, inside the newly added text box okay now that we are done with the uh, first work experience let's copy and paste the similar same content uh, twice okay uh, now let's move on to the next section uh, so now let's add uh, one more uh, horizontal line uh, next to the experience As, okay uh, and uh, ex extend its uh, width now let's copy the experience uh, text block and paste it uh, below the horizontal line and uh, change its content wherein we will be adding the education details here Now that we are done adding the education details, let's uh, add one more horizontal line so that we can separate the next section which will be the reference uh, section. So let's copy the uh, contact uh, details and uh, change the title to references and add some reference details.
so you can see that uh, our one page uh, resume is ready so let's uh, move on to the cover page so let's uh, add a cover page and uh, remove the default content that we have on the cover page and let's copy some of the elements from the uh, resume page and paste it onto the cover page and uh, similarly we will just uh, uh, change the uh, contents cop uh, content copied from the resume to the cover page and uh, and update uh, its properties and also the content that we are adding also i will uh, speed up the process here because it is uh, nothing new uh, it's the same process that we followed uh, for creating the resume page uh, so hope you all uh, liked watching this video if you do please uh, give this video a thumbs up and also like share and subscribe to my channel thank you